All right. Yeah, okay. guys. Um, I don't even know what time it is. Is it after five? Seven on the dot. Seven. Yeah. So Daddy left at five thirty-four. He got home safely. Thank you, Jesus. And this is what I've been doing all day. My dad and Joe watched a Western on Netflix, some series, The Godless, that just came out. They watched the whole thing. They vegged on the couch, watched. We ate at 11.30. <laughs> I'm still full. <laughs> I didn't overeat. I ate just enough like, I, like if I were having lunch. And then I ate again this evening when daddy was leaving, like around five, just another small amount like dinner. So I did really, really great. Although I'm gonna have a piece of one of these cakes right now. But this is what I did all day, guys. Look, I've been trying to do this patchwork one, but because I don't know what I'm doing yet, I keep ripping. And I have to like do it this way because I'm really, really neurotic about making sure this part's done. I did all this by hand. This part's done. But I want to make sure, see this part goes in there just, there's another layer that's going in the body part. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure it's like correct. I don't want it to be off, you know what I mean? So I'm sure that I've cut the pieces wrong, that's why I'm having such a hard time. But I'm not frustrated. I'm okay with, you know, how it's going and, you know, it, it's, get, it's going to get better on the next one. But every time I have these solid materials left over, I want to do one like this. So I'm not going to put up a vlog tonight because, um, I just didn't vlog all day. Sometimes, you know, like when other people are visiting and they don't really want to be on the vlog, it's kind of hard to do. And I'm sure that you guys understand. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I think we did, right, Josh? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I almost fell asleep. I almost fell asleep. Yeah, we had a really blessed Thanksgiving. Praise God. And um, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'll pick this up where we've left off right here. I'm going to go on ahead and rip this piece out now. Ever since Carmen retired, they have this Indian girl that works there. I don't know if she's Indian or Pakistani, but she is so rude. And then this other black lady that, you know, I consider her a friend, but her moods are um, bipolar and I can't deal with it. I need to go where they're gonna um, help me figure out the most reasonable rates to mail these things to you guys. And right now I feel like they're just jipping me on the price with everything. So let's see if we'll fare off better here today. Well, it's a bigger post office to start with. Mm -hmm. It's a bigger post office. 8.30 to 5. And they're open on Saturday. The other one's not open on Saturday. yesterday we don't do that brown flour gravy thing we just uh, get all the grease or oil that's released from the turkey we put it in a pot with all the giblets and the giblets <laughs> and the neck and we just kind of reduce it and that's our gravy so I'm heating that up because right now we're gonna do leftovers we have rice and beans stuffing potato salad plantain and I took out the bin that has the turkey the dark turkey meat because don't nobody really like white turkey meat <laughs> up in here we have chocolate cake left over and lemon cake left over. Joe and I went to that post office as you saw earlier. Um, they weren't rude, but they weren't friendly. And I got nuked on the package that I sent out for my cousin Cindy because it was three aprons. Huh? It was more pleasant, right? Okay, so it's $4.36 to mail away two aprons. That's not factoring my envelope that I have to buy. It is... $3.64 to mail away one apron, right Joe? Mm -hmm. And Cindy bought three and they nuked me for $12.70. I reeled because you know what? I could have brought that thing back home and put two in one envelope for $4.36 and one in the next envelope for $3.64 and still only come to about eight bucks. You know, not 12 something. I'm always factoring the cheapest way to send you guys the stuff because it hurts to go and pay all this money to the post office. So now I know. Now I know if you all are ordering three or four, we're going to package them in two different packaging, okay? So anyways, my cousin Cindy is a constant donor to the show anyway. So 
I'm not gonna go back and say anything to her, but I'm sure she's gonna see the postage when it comes because she factored in about seven dollars for the postage. But it's okay because Cindy always gives. Um, there was a bad accident, as you guys saw on the main street. I don't know how that accident happened, but whoever was driving the truck with the carpet rolled up on the back of the truck. You know how the carpet people have all their carpets in bales? Honey, they're probably going to get a ticket because that stuff must not have been strapped down. If it went flying, you have to strap that stuff down. So three cars involved. My heart was in my mouth because Jada was following behind us when we went to the post office and she was going to go say hello to Lewis. And that's exactly where she passes that intersection. She was going to be going west and that accident happened going south. You know, so I was like, praise God, she's okay. So that's, you know, when, when you start feeling, you know, like God's not moving quick enough on some situations for you and so on and so on, and things like that happen, you just say, you know what, thank God, my babies are okay, you know? So my neck hurts from doing that stupid apron last night, that black and green one. At first, when I sat down with my dad and Joe was watching that Western on Netflix, it was okay because I, I I was happy, I was at peace, and I was silly, and it was looking all purdy till you start putting it together. And then you realize all the squares are moving out of place, and then you rip, and then you sew again. And I think it's all based on the fact that I cut it. I First of all, they were not cut exactly even, and it's not as forgiving as when you're doing the big aprons because you've got to piece this, like the checkers together, right? So I think you have to cut it wider that way and wider that way or taller that way so that when you sew the edges and join it to the other stuff it becomes like this one size i don't know quilting oh is this quilting is this quilting where you do you know patchwork i don't know patchworking so and every time i go to youtube to see how to cut it they're like oh look at this pattern and you could do this pattern and this pattern i'm like fool i don't want to see your patterns i want to see how to cut this basic square thing oh the gravy going yeah oh the grip is going. Let me get the apron and show you what it looks like though. Hang tight. First of all, it's hard for me to tie the aprons because of my, remember when I had that shoulder, that frozen shoulder issue, all because I did this for what, two, three years vlogging. And um, I still have issues with it. I have to put heat on my shoulder when I go to bed at night. I have to put heat when I wake up in the morning before I get out of bed. Uh, because if I go use the bathroom, that first wipe, <laughs> not to be gross, it'll stretch that muscle or that tendon or whatever and it'll cause a problem. So anyways, here's the apron. It's smaller than the other aprons that I've made, but hey, it's mine. And I can use it and get all dirty. And Joe says when it's time to wash it, just throw it in the trash because he feels like it's going to fall apart because I sewed it by hand. All these squares, all these squares put together, I did by hand. So that's why my neck is hurting. Go away. It's not time for your dinner yet. Come here. Come, no, here. Come, here. Come here, my baby. My baby. <laughs> he had a headache this morning. You feel better on the sweet bike? Yeah. I thought he was coming for the food, but I'm serving the food today because he was good to me yesterday. You did the rice and beans, right, Jojo? Right. Planting. He put the turkey in for me. I seasoned the stuff the turkey. I did the potato salad. What else did you do? I did all that stuff. I did mac and cheese for Josh, and he still had rice and beans. The boy have issues with carbs. And then I did the two cakes. Jada did a cheesecake. What did I tell you Jada was going to do with that cheesecake, guys? She ate a generous piece of it with our midday eating, because we ate at 11.30 yesterday. We ain't played. That's why I don't like to go to other people's Thanksgiving, you know, because if you go to their Thanksgiving, you're kind of stuck with when they eat. Like my Aunt Lita, they ate at 2, which was a little bit better than my Aunt Jenny that ate at 4. I'm like, four? No. We eat at between 11.30 and noon, and then we eat again between 4.30 and 5. Lunch, dinner, you know? So, um, going back to Jada and the cheesecake. She had a normal piece for the, the midday meal, and then later on when she came back when I wasn't looking, she had a piece of cheesecake and a piece of this chocolate cake, and that's what I was trying to avoid. I'm like, we're not going to get all this sugar in. Sugar causes cancer. So, anyways, I'm going to watch her today like a hawk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, was, what was I saying about, oh, the meal. I actually measured a quarter, well, two tablespoons. Let me show you my tablespoon. Two tablespoons of rice and beans, um, a quarter of a cup of stuffing, because y'all know it's about the stuffing, and then two tablespoons of potato salad, some of the garden salad, a few pieces of the turkey white meat, a piece of my, my dad's good ham. By the way, my dad has the ham for sale, okay, the salty ham, and... One piece of plantain, right, Joe? That's all I had, and a piece of chocolate cake. 
That was my lunch. I felt good. I didn't drink any soda. I had some juice. Uh, I had like four ounces of orange juice when it was all done because I was really craving that. And it was good. And then I ate at 4.30. At 4.30, all I had was some mac and cheese, though, and some more of the turkey. I, didn't eat, I, I can't eat salads in the evening. I can't digest. So let me go see who texted me. I mailed everybody apron today except for Julie Weeby because Julie Weeby wants something purple. She paid for two already. She wants the drunken one and something purple. And then Helen also wants something purple. And um, Helen is paying for the, um, the red Paris one that I didn't sew yet. But I have to go to the store to see if I can get something purple for these two beautiful ladies. And that's all I'm doing. I don't want to go get extra stuff because I need to sell everything first to bring back in money to get new inventory. So that's where we are. Let me go dish up some food. We're going to eat. I don't know if we're going to go to Walmart and then look for something purple or we're going to sew first. I want to sew this one first. Let me show you. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, Shanika is supposed to be coming tomorrow to hang out with us. And I remember because Shanika bought one like this and one of you bought one like this and I don't have any more to display and I have the fabric to do too. So I'm going to cut and sew these. Joe went over to Bernardo for him to cut like a, um, a line or something in the wood that we have so that I can cut better because that's what all the ladies tell me to do, the ones that I meet in Walmart. And they weren't working today. They worked part day yesterday and then they went home at 8 and got drunk and now nobody's working today. So I'm going to sew one of these first and then probably Helen's and then after that I'll have one of each to show you guys later this evening and I still have well I'm not gonna do the powder buns today because um, I'm not gonna mail the stuff out till Monday but y'all know you're gonna get somebody gonna win a can of powder buns today <laughs> so let me go eat guys I don't know if you can see Joe I don't even know if you can see me <laughs> did I tell you all that the dryer went out my god when is it gonna stop when it rain it pour a hailstorm on top of a coffee I'm telling you so I call my friend because she and her husband does this for a living buy and sell appliances and they know how to repair them so he suggested that it was one what was the thing Joe the solenoid <clears throat> but then when my dad came he's all like go ask mr. Google because sometimes it's something as small as a fuse so Joe went to go ask mr. Google and it came back saying that it could be the fuse, it could be the solenoid too, but check the fuse first. Joe checked the fuse with his little machinery thingy and said the fuse was bad. And then Joe bypassed something with a piece of aluminum foil. And I'm not talking about a tin foil hat, some, some aluminum foil. And the dryer uh, was drying with heat, but you don't want to run it like that. He just tested it. Why did you decide that it was the fuse? Because it came on, but there was no glow, right? Is that why, Joe? Why did you say it was the fuse? Yeah. Because, it, well, the tester, when the tester get it to work, if this if stay at zero, uh -huh. and don't read, that means it's not good. No, no, when when the people, the people on Google said, check for a fuse because something, because it was it was spinning, but not with heat, but it wasn't glowing at all, right? Right. right. Because if it was the solenoid, it would have glowed for a little while. Right. Is that what they said? Yeah, cut off. Yeah, so, sugar, what can't this man do? Praise God. So we're waiting for the part to come Sunday, so for right now, Everybody got the wear day draws twice. <laughs> Off to another store. We're leaving Walmart because they don't have no material for um for purple. No purple. Oh, wait, what do you think they purple people? Fabric. Purple people eater. That song that Jerry used to dance to. They don't have that, and they don't have nothing for my LGBTQ community. And what I'm looking for for that is like something tie dye and colorful, and I don't know. I'll know it when I see it. Purple. Huh? There's people walking behind you with a cart. Can you see, baby? Mm -hmm. Joshua, like my camera up on the stand till the drop found, eh? Mm-hmm. Three away. You said we were going to um, Miguel's. That's Michael's? Right. That's right, no, because... Do we have gas to get to Michael's, or are you going to bug me for gas? I got to get for going for my... Oh, dang. Joshua, we got it like that. <laughs> After that... I don't want to have no gas. All my little money coming in, go back in the fabric and then pay some bills. Bills, bills every day. Bills, bills, man can't pay. What a bill to pay. Light bill to pay. There's a song that goes like that to the Josh. Bills, bills every day. Bills, bills, oh, man can't park pay. Out here. That's what I told daddy. What? But well, he don't want to listen. You come and park way out here. You know how to park here and pull forward, right? Totally. Josh? Totally. I would too. Mm hmm. I don't be fighting for no parking. Oh no, I gotta take a little Josh, walk. Josh, look! Josh, look! Look! It's still up there! <laughs> Go ahead. 
The camera. <laughs> the camera is still up there. You're gonna go speed bump. Oh, what are the people doing over here? Is this where they park? Eat, they eat. Okay, oh, they there. probably eat free there. There's a lot of them there, huh, Josh? Mm. Remember that um, restaurant by the shop? Police eat free there every day and every month they rob the shop. I'm like, I wouldn't let them eat free. Uh, you eat free here so that I don't get robbed. Exactly. <laughs> well, the food wasn't great, so I mean, I think that explains why we <laughs> All right, we're going to go look for more fabric, guys. Look, I got some tins. I could show it in my live later. So they're kind of thick, you know, from top to bottom. And this is what I would put the black cake in. We're waiting for Josh to come. He went to Target over there. While we went to Michael's over there. <coughs> Too clear in your throat for I got phlegm. Those purple ones were ugly, huh, Josh? Yes, they all were but ugly. If only we could fuse two of them together, then we'd have the perfect thing we're looking for. I know. And, and then we saw exactly what we wanted, but it was too small. There was it no It was yards. for patchwork. Yeah, so I couldn't do anything with that. The minute I pick up a piece of fabric and Daddy doesn't like it, I put it back. Yeah, Daddy's good at color theory. I don't even ask why. Yep, I suck at color theory. Right, artist Daddy? Mm. Right, artist Daddy? I don't even ask why. You hate it? You need, you need something else to see to pop your eye, you know what I mean, Josh? Yep, <laughs> exactly. Especially if you want a pretty apron, you want something that can And this is, this is for Helen and Julie, so we have to get pretty stuff for them. Ooh, lot of hot. Yeah, I'm good now, but when I was running around, I was like... It's what, 95 today? Is it? It was 90 at 8 o'clock in the morning when I went to go pay the water bill. Not, not the water bill, the light bill. Uh, we have light for one more month. Yay! Yes! Jumping across everybody. The next light bill is 189, Josh. That's good or bad? That's good. It came down from 399. Oh my god, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good, that's excellent. <laughs> Let's get it down to 86 bucks. Let's go. That's due like like right. Well, it's due actually the end of this month. See? But I'll pay person, it next month the same time. That person will buy a Star Wars apron. You see the stormtrooper in their window right there? Uh-huh. Right there. Is that one there? Buy, uh, buy Viewers, it. Joshua has a question. Hold on, hold on. Would would you buy specialty aprons there? Uh, Star Wars, My Little Pony, Marvel, Disney princesses, Batman, Dis Disney princesses, custom pretty ones like that. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. St popular things like that. Would you buy that for fifty bucks? Because the fabric is expensive. The fabric is thirty bucks a yard. Yes, thirty dollars a yard. So we'd make little to nothing but mm -hmm. would you buy that for that price thank Let you josh know. thank you because you know because i would buy something with marvel on it if it were me you know mm -hmm. yeah daddy you know he kimono yeah, daddy, papa.